Hello, Concord Junior High. This is your math teacher, Mr. Rock, working hard to make another video for you. This video is about making a table to graph two variable equations. And below my image, you can see an example right here of what we are going to learn how to do. It looks like fun, doesn't it? Okay, here is a two variable equation. Two variables because here's one variable x, here's the other variable y, and an equation because there's an equal sign. I'm going to make a table. And one column is for x. We get to choose the values for x. So we say that x is the independent variable. And then the other column is for y, the dependent variable. The value of y depends on the value of x that we choose. So I'm going to choose values from I mean, remember, it's my choice, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. So here's my table. I'm going to try to do some mental math here. Let's see. My first value is negative 6, so I'm going to take negative 6, and I'm going to put it in the, the equation right there. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Negative 1 to the second power is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Next. Negative 5 is going to go right there. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Next, negative 4 goes right there. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 1 to the second power is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Next, negative 3 goes right there. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. 2 to the second power is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Pretty good at this mental math stuff. And the last one, negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. 3 to the second power is 9. 2 times 9 is 18. All right, let's graph. I have negative 6, 2. Let's see here. Negative 6, positive 2 is right there. Let's see next. Negative 5, 0. Negative 5 is right here, Ooh, and 0 is right there. So negative 5, 0 is right there. Close enough. <laughs> negative, negative 4, 2 is ooh, negative 4, positive 2 is right there. Let's see, negative 3, positive 8. Negative 3, positive 8. Ooh, is all the way up there. And then what do we have? We have negative 2, 18. So negative 2, positive 18 is all the way up here. That's no good. It's off my grid. 
I think I'm going to pick one more point. I'm going to pick negative 7. I need it to complete my graph. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 to the second power is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So this ordered pair here, negative 7, 8, is all the way up here, right there. And this graph looks kind of messed up. But let's take a look at it by connecting the, the points. And when I connect the points, I get something that looks like that. And this happens to be a very special graph. This is called a parabola. This is called a parabola. And we're going to be learning a lot about parabolas this year. And this graph is also called nonlinear. This is a nonlinear function or nonlinear equation because the graph is curved. Nonlinear means curved or not straight. Okay, here's an example of a two-variable equation. It's two-variable because here's my first variable, x. That's the independent variable. I get to choose the numbers that go in for x. Then there's the dependent variable, y. That value depends on what we choose for x. And I said this is a two-variable equation. I know this is an equation because there's an equal sign. Okay, so I need to make my table. I make a table. I need a column for x and a column for y. A column for x, a column for y. And remember, I get to choose the x values, so I'm going to choose from negative 3 to positive 3, let's say. Here we go. Here's my table, setting the table. Now I'm ready to fill in the y values. Here we go. Here we go. We got x is negative 3. So I have negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. Next, I have negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Next, I have negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 3 is 6. Next, I have 0. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. Next, I have 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Next, I have 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. And lastly, I have positive 3. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Plus negative plus three is negative six. Okay, I'm ready to graph my ordered pairs. I have negative three, start at zero, go over to negative three, and I need to go up twelve. Uh oh, spaghettios. That point is off my graph. It's somewhere way up here. So I'm not going to use that point. I'm going to go on to the next one. Negative 2, positive 2, 
Positive 9. Uh-oh. Again. I'm all the way up here. It's no good. Off my grid. Negative 1, positive 6. I actually get to plot a point. 0, 3. 1, 0. 2, negative 3. 3, negative 6. I'm going to connect my points from left to right. And I'm going to see that my graph here is linear. We say that this is a linear equation because the graph is a straight line. Okay, here we have a two-variable equation. Two variables because there is an x, and that happens to be the independent variable. We get to choose the x values. And here is the other variable, y. That is the dependent variable. That value depends on what we choose for x. The place where we get our x values is right here along the x-axis. And I'm going to go ahead and make a table. Here we have x, our independent variable, y, our dependent variable. And the x values I'm going to choose, uh, I think I'm just going to go from negative 5 to positive 5. This is a lot of points. But that's okay. This is how we get the graph. It's a pretty good table. Okay, we are going to do some mental math to get our values for y. So here we go. The absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Whew, I'm getting tired. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. The absolute value of 0 is 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. One, the absolute value of 1 minus 4 is negative 3. The absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. The absolute value of 3 is 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. The absolute value of 4 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. The absolute value of 5 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. So now I have my ordered pairs. I have my table. Now all I have to do is graph. 
negative 5, 1, negative 4, 0, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 3, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 1, 4, 0, 5, 1. Look at that. That reminds me of the geese flying in the sky. So now I'm going to connect these ordered pairs going from left to right. And look at that. It's a V. The absolute value function looks like a V. Pretty cool. Notice how this graph is not a straight line. There is a curve to it. And what I mean is the graph goes down and then it kind of pivots and it goes back up. This kind of graph, this function is called a, okay, this graph is called a non-linear function or a nonlinear equation because it's not a straight line. Okay, what you see on this screen is from the internet. This is the Desmos graphing calculator. And all you have to do is go into a search engine like Google and type in Desmos Graphing Calculator and you will see a link that uh, will connect you to this calculator. And the reason this calculator is so good is because it allows you to graph these two variable equations in the blink of an eye uh, without making a table. So it allows you to check your work. So for example, if I wanted to check the graph y equals x squared, let's see, I could type y equals uh, x squared, and there's my graph. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Or if I wanted to get more creative, I could type in another graph like this, like y uh, equals uh, x to the, th to the third. And I see I get a graph that looks like that. Anyway, this is called Desmos, Desmos Graphing Calculator. You can get it online. It's free. And it's very powerful. It will allow you to check your work in the blink of an eye. Okay, well, we've come to the end of another exciting video. In this video, you learned how to graph two variable equations, choosing your x's, calculating your y's. And you also learned about Desmos, a graphing calculator online that allows you to check your work. Good luck with your assignment.